This class is about 30 minutes long. It's simple, it's effective, it's a good way to wake up, stretch, and energize every cell of your body. So it's great to do first thing in the morning, or maybe if you're feeling an afternoon slump, go ahead and start in child's pose. So no music in the background. I am keeping the sounds on uh, so you can hear the sounds of nature. I'm filming this at my family's camp, which is right along the Allegheny River in western Pennsylvania. So you can hear the birds chirping, you can hear the water, you can hear the rustling of the trees. So hopefully that gives you a chance to connect with nature somehow, even if you're doing this inside. And so in this child's pose, keep your hips heavy. Feel your shoulders broaden across your back. Take nice deep inhales through the nose and exhales through the mouth. And go ahead and make your way to all fours and continue with the breath. Cat cow. So as you inhale, drop the belly, lift your chest. And then as you exhale, round your spine. Again, inhale, drop your belly, lift your chest up, breathe in through your heart center. And as you exhale, squeeze your navel into your spine, round your shoulders and tuck your chin in. Do this a few times to start to wake up your spine. And then after your next exhale, go ahead and tuck your toes. Send your hips up and back so you come into downward facing dog. Really press between your thumbs and your forefingers and feel the sides of your waist lengthen. And start to tiptoe your toes so they come in between your hands. Ragdoll pose at the front edge of your mat. Catch a hold opposite elbow, opposite hand. The top of your head gets really heavy here, so any tension that you're feeling through your shoulders and the back of your neck, release it. Then go ahead and set your left hand down, stretch your right up, right arm up towards the ceiling, towards the sky. And then go ahead and switch sides. Right hand comes down, then the left arm stretches up. Whatever feels natural with the legs, do it. So probably the right knee bending more and the left leg staying straight. And then go ahead and set both hands down. Good, return back to ragdoll. And then roll up slowly. So you have a hold opposite elbow, opposite hand. And use this to deepen the stretch. Just go ahead and stretch up and over to the right side. So you're um, opening up the left side of your body. And then go ahead and switch sides. Stretch to the left side, open up the right side of your body. Then go ahead and take it to center, stretch all 10 fingertips up and start to arch back, lean back, feel the chest opening up. Good, continue to breathe right here. Then go ahead and grab a hold of your left wrist with your right hand, stretch up and over to the right side. So getting even deeper into this release through the side stretch. Go ahead and switch sides. Catch a hold of your right wrist with your left hand, stretching up first and then over. Rib cage expands. And then interlace the hands behind you. Squeeze your shoulder blades together, lift your chest open. You can stay like that or you can take the hands to your lower back and press the hips forward and continue to arch back. Wherever you are, just feel the front side of your body opening up. And then go ahead and slowly come back to standing. Come into mountain pose, Tadasana. Roll the shoulder blades down your back a few times. Keep reaching the fingertips down. Palms are facing forward. Eye gaze is facing forward. And you can either close your eyes or keep your eye gaze soft and focus on one spot. And just take a few breaths. Now, sometimes this is the hardest part of the yoga practice is just staying still and really being present in the moment. Good. After a few breaths, roll out your wrists as you reach your arms up. And then press your palms together. Trace the midline, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen to a halfway lift. Then place your hands down, step your feet back, coming into a high plank position. Good. Breathing here. Core is tight. Back is flat. Pull forward slightly, then bend your elbows, lower down into chaturanga, and then glide forward into an upward facing dog. 
pressing through the tops of your feet. Now tuck your toes, make your way into a downward facing dog. Lift your heels high, bend your knees low, stepping or hopping your feet in between your hands. Lengthen to a flat spine, fold forward, release, top of your head gets heavy. Then press into your heels, reach your arms overhead, take a big inhale, and as you exhale, fold forward, continue with a sun salutation right here. So inhale, lengthen halfway, hands down, feet go back, high plank to low plank, so just connecting all these moves together, lengthen, upward facing dog, and then exhale, downward facing dog. Let's go ahead and do that again. Lift your heels high, bend your knees low, step or hop your feet in between your hands. Come to a flat spine as you inhale, forward fold, releasing everything as you exhale. As you inhale, full body stretch, reaching up, and then as you exhale, palms press together, forward fold, release. Inhale, lengthen halfway, and then place your hands down, stepping your feet back into a high plank position, bending your elbows, low plank chaturanga, inhale, upward facing dog, and then exhale, empty out the air, come into downward facing dog. From here, float your right leg up, bend your right knee, and draw some circles with your right knee. So as you draw those circles, make them as big or small as you need to, and feel the right hip start to open up. Good, and then after you do that, go ahead and extend the right leg straight. Pull forward to a high plank as you squeeze the right knee to your right elbow. Give it a tap, then inhale back to your three-legged dog. Then as you exhale, right knee to the center of your chest. Then inhale, three-legged dog. As you exhale, pull the right knee across your body to your left elbow. Extend the right leg straight. Reach the left arm up, coming into star pose or fallen triangle like full body stretch. So open the chest up. Keep reaching and lengthening through the left arm. Good, then set the left hand down. Set the right foot in between your hands. Balance your hips up and down a few times. And then, bounce, or then move your hips forward and back a few times. So just creating some circulation in your hips. Good, now keeping your left hand down, stretch your right arm up first and then bend your right elbow. Your right hand comes to the back of your head and then pressing your head into your hand, open up your chest towards the ceiling, towards the sky. Good, after a few breaths, set the right hand down, step back into a downward facing dog, repeating that on the left side. So float your left leg up. Bend your left knee, circle out your left knee a few times to really loosen up your left hip. Good, straighten the leg, take a big inhale. As you exhale, left knee taps, left tricep. Then inhale, three-legged dog. As you exhale, left knee to the center of your chest. Tap the chin, good. Inhale, three-legged dog. Left knee across your body, tap the right tricep. And then kick the left leg straight. Your left hand stays down. Your right arm reaches and stretches up. Good. Lifting out of your left shoulder here. Opening everything up. And then after a few breaths, set the right hand down. Set the left foot down. Keep your back toes tucked. Bounce your hips up and down a few times. Move your hips forward and back a few times. And then keeping the right hand down, stretch the left fingertips up, bend at your elbow, press the back of your head into your left hand, take a few breaths here, and then set it down, step back into downward facing dog. Lift your heels high, bend your knees low, step or hop your feet in between your hands, lengthen to a flat spine as you inhale, pull the crown of your head forward, good, then crown of your head releases, forward fold. Moving into chair pose, Ukatasana. Weight is into your heels. Your hips are down and back. Your arms stretch up towards the ceiling. And then take your palms together to heart center and twist over to the right. Your left elbow hooks outside your right knee and your right thigh. Your palms are either pressing together or you're stretching and reaching your arms in opposite directions. Keep sinking your hips low. Keep your knees glued together. And keep focusing on the exhale, on that release. Good, and then forward fold. And from here, go ahead and reach your arms behind you. 
step your heels onto your fingertips. So your forearms are hooked behind your calves and you're coming into this deep forward fold. The top of your head gets heavy. So it's almost like you're kissing your shins here and then you're stretching your hips up as much as you can. Good. Then go ahead and release the fingertips from the heels. Reach your arms up. Sink back into a chair pose. Press your palms together and twist the opposite way. So your right elbow hooks outside your left thigh. Palms stay together or reach in opposite directions. Good. Twisting a little bit more with every exhale. And then come into a forward fold release. Toe heel your feet wide. And then come into Buddha squat here. So your toes are turned out slightly. Your hips drop low. Palms press together to heart center. And you're using the elbows to press open and release your hips. Your tailbone is heavy. And try to flatten your spine right here rather than collapsing through the chest or shoulders. Keep your chest open. Keep your eye gaze on one spot in front of you. Focus on the breath. Good. Then from here, go ahead and start to press your palms down and then slowly step back into a downward facing dog. Float your right leg up and open up your hips here. You can stay here in a three legged dog or you can drop your right foot next to your left foot and reach your right arm along overhead coming into a flip dog. So the entire front side of your body is opening up here. Try not to scrunch up through your neck or shoulders or jaw. And if you flipped your dog, go ahead and make your way back. Pull your right foot forward, flatten your back foot, coming into a standing series here. So warrior one on the right side, your right foot's forward, your left foot's back, your hips are square, your arms are reaching high, and your hips are sinking low. Okay, then go ahead and open up into a warrior two with the right arm forward, left arm back. Your hips will open up a little bit more here in this warrior two pose. Now go ahead and reach both arms overhead as you come up just a few inches with the hips and then lower down, open the arms back. And then lift up as you inhale, press the arms down as you exhale. Again, lift the arms up as you inhale, the eye gaze follows your right thumb, then as you exhale, press the palms down, warrior two. Again, coming up a few inches with the hips and then as you exhale, warrior two, sink a little bit lower. Go ahead and do that again. Inhale, reach up, and then exhale. Press your palms down. Stay in warrior two. And now reverse your warrior. Straighten your front leg. So both legs are straight now, and then reach forward with your right arm. Tilt forward and then down. Coming into Trikonasana a triangle pose. So the legs are making a triangle shape. The right arm is down, touching the shin or the thigh, maybe the ankle, maybe the floor, wherever you can reach. But make sure that you're not hinging forward from the waist. Everything is long, everything is flat. And you will need to squeeze your core in tight. Your eye gaze can be wherever it's comfortable, so make sure you're not straining with your neck. So the right arm is down, left arm is up, or you can reach the left arm long overhead. See how that feels, and then see if you can reach your right arm up too. So it's like you're holding a giant beach ball over top of your head. Good, then with the arms lifted, go ahead and face your chest towards the floor, square off your hips, pull your back leg in slightly, and then forward fold into a pyramid pose. Good, now twist out your triangle. Your left hand stays down and right fingertips reach up. Now from here, float your back leg up. So you're coming into a twisting half moon. Stay for a few breaths and then bring your palms together to heart center and then take the right hand down, left arm up, so you're in balancing half moon. Bend into the right knee, land softly in warrior two, reverse the warrior, take a big inhale, then as you exhale, flow through. 
Hands go down, foot goes back, high plank to your chaturanga. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Repeating everything on the left side. So now your left leg floats up, peel up in your hips, stay in the three-legged dog or drop your left foot and come into a flip dog. And then from here, go ahead and make your way back over. Set your left hand down. As you set your left hand down, pull your left knee in towards your chest. Set your left foot down, set your right foot down, and then reach up warrior one left side. Hips are square, fingertips reaching, so energy all the way up through all 10 fingertips. Drop your shoulders away from your ears. Drop your hips a little bit lower. But be sure that the knee, the front knee, stays over top of the ankle and it doesn't start to glide over top of the toes. Good, then bring your palms to heart center and then reach the arms, stretch the arms into warrior two. As you inhale, arms come overhead, hips lift slightly, and then as you exhale, press the palms down, warrior two. Continuing with that, moving body and breath together, inhale, reach up, exhale, press down, eye gaze following your left thumb. Inhale, coming up slightly, as you exhale, strong press down with the arms. Again, inhale, reaching up, coming up. Exhale, sinking low. And then one more time, take a big inhale, reach. And then as you exhale, come into warrior two. Pause for a few breaths. And now reverse your warrior. From here, straighten your front leg, tilt forward, reach the left arm forward and then down, and then stretch the right arm up. Triangle pose. From triangle, take your top arm, your right arm, and reach it long overhead. Go and feel the entire right side of your body stretching here. And then float your left arm up so both arms are overhead. And keeping the arms where they are, square off your hips, pull your back foot in slightly. Chest faces down towards the floor, and then with a flat spine, releasing over top of your front thigh. Coming into pyramid pose. And then twisting it out right here, right hand stays down, left fingertips reach up. Twisting the spine, you're breathing. Good. and shifting all the way into your front foot, your back leg floats up. You're still twisting here for a revolving half moon. Just a few breaths, make sure both legs stay active here. Good, then go ahead and take the palms together, two heart centers, stack your right hip, sorry, yeah, right hip on top of your left hip. Right fingertips reach up. And then bend your front knee, land softly warrior two, flow through it, reverse your warrior as you inhale. Take it through a high plank to low plank as you exhale. Inhale, upward facing dog. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe. From here, stepping or hopping your feet in between your hands, go ahead and cross your ankles and make your way into a seated position. Boat pose. It's a balancing position. You're balancing on your sits bones. And then you can bend your knees into your chest. First, bend the legs straight. Lock the foot here down through the core. Keep your chest open. Go then go ahead and lower down slowly. Setting up for bridge pose. In bridge pose, the feet are about hip width apart. And then press your hips up. Arms can stay flat or you can interlace the hands at your tailbone. Your chin is tucked, slight, tucked slightly. So you should be able to see the chest rise and fall with your inhales and exhales. And then go ahead and lower down. And coming into plow pose. So taking the toes over top of your head, your hands are supporting you at your lower rib cage. If the toes touch the floor behind you, extend the legs a little bit longer, a little bit straighter. 
and no looking around here, especially through the neck area. Good, then from plow, you can move into shoulder stand. Or if you'd like another variation of an inversion, I'm gonna go ahead and move into a headstand here. So whichever one you choose to do, your feet are over top of your hips and over top of your heart. So you're really shifting around circulation in this inversion. So keep breathing through it. Allow that shift of energy in your body to take place. So you're creating new patterns, new ways to be in your body. And you're allowing your body to heal anything it might be working through right now. So that can be any physical ailments, any emotions that you need to process. If you're in the headstand, make your way to child's pose. If you chose shoulder stand, then just start to lower down. And then everybody go ahead and make your way into a frog position. So from child's pose, just walk your knees wide. If you need extra cushion here, then you can turn and face the opposite way on the mat or so that you're parallel with the mat. But you're aiming for 90 degree angles here. So your knees come out from the hips and then the ankles come out from the knees. And as much as you can, relax the chest, relax the shoulders. Good, then after about eight to 10 breaths, go ahead and carefully, slowly come out of that however you need to do it. And then have a seat at the front of your mat, crossing your legs. Press your right fingertips down, drop your left ear to your left shoulder, and then you can take the left hand and place it on your head, and you'll feel the right side of your neck opening up and releasing right here. And then just go ahead and switch sides. Do this slowly. Right shoulder drops, right ear drops to your right shoulder. Left fingertips are pressing down. Option to take the right hand to your head. And then go ahead and release and just draw some uh, circles here, some neck circles. Do it slow and as you do this, you're really opening up through the throat chakra and any tightness that you feel through your neck muscles. So do it slow two times to the right and then two times to the left. While you're doing this, if you feel a spot that feels particularly tight, then feel free to stay there and just breathe and continue to release the tension on your exhales until that tension just starts to melt away. And then take a seated spine twist. Look over your left shoulder and then switch directions, looking over your right shoulder. And then come back to center. So stay in the seated position here. It's up to you if you want to do this next part with your eyes closed or eyes open. If you are in a spot in nature, it might be nice to keep the eyes open. But if the eyes are staying open, then make sure that you still have just a soft gaze with the muscles in the face staying relaxed. So set yourself up here prepping for a meditation. Roll the shoulders down the back a few times. And then you have two options here. You can rotate the palms so they're facing up and open to receive. So if there's anything you want to get a little bit more of, any type of feeling, maybe it's some more energy, just whatever resonates with you. If you are feeling really scattered and need some more grounding, then go ahead and rotate your palms so they're facing down and feel yourself connected to the ground, connected to the earth. Inhale for a count of four. Hold the inhale at the top for a count of four. Exhale for a count of four. And then hold the exhale for a count of four. 
And then continue with that, breathing in for one, two, three, four. Hold the breath for one, two, three, four. Exhale for one, two, three, four. Hold it for one, two, three, and four. And continue to do this breathing on your own. After a few rounds of counting to four, see if you can expand it to breathing in for counts of five. And then maybe counts of six. Focusing all of your energy, all of your attention onto your breath, your source of energy, your source of life. Good, now go ahead and after your next exhale, just return the breath to a natural rhythm, one that you don't have to think about. Just allow the inhales and exhales to happen naturally. If there's anything that doesn't feel right, that's weighing you down, or that feels heavy, give yourself this time right here to release it on your exhales. If your eyes are closed, carefully, slowly start to open your eyes. And just look around you, notice what's happening in the world around you. Notice what you see, notice what you hear, notice what you feel. And notice yourself really present and really aware of this exact moment. Know that you're alive. Know that you're healthy. Know that by taking care of yourself, you allow yourself to show up in a better, healthier way for the people around you. Continuing to take a few more cleansing breaths. Inhaling through the nose. Exhale through your mouth. Good, then inhale through the nose. Stretch your arms out to the side. Reach your arms up. Press your palms together. Exhale through your mouth. Take the thumbs to your heart center. The light in me honors the light in you. Take this energy with you 
rest of your day. Take a bow forward. Namaste.